Okay, there's one other thing that, that I think is really important, and that has to do with the whole idea that when we're aiming the gun, the sights help us to verify the alignment of the gun on the target. But essentially, aiming is a body index, yeah. a body indexing kind of thing. It's a body feel. And so, one of the things that's really important to, to understand is that the way that you grip the gun is going to affect your accuracy and your consistency in your shooting. And you're, this is something that everybody has to feel through as, as they shoot. As you shoot, you will discover, you know, shooting is simple, but it's not necessarily easy. It takes practice. And a lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to have to figure out what grip actually works best for you because what you don't want to happen, and we'll see this as we start shooting, is we don't want after each shot, we don't want to be doing this. So I'm going to press this fake trigger here and the gun recoils and I don't want to be adjusting my grip each time I'm shooting. Yeah, you know, you see people that are doing this and they shoot, bang, and they adjust their grip each time, and each adjustment throws the gun off of alignment. So for consistency of shot placement, you want a consistent grip. And what helps that, and this is my main point, is how you wrap your two hands together. And a good idea to think about is the idea that, you know, you're going to, as you bring your other strong hand or your support hand in to support your master grip, you want to have your knuckles meet, and so you have a master grip. This is the master grip of your dominant hand. And as you, as you have hold the gun, you notice that there are two sets of knuckles in play here. There's the first set of knuckles right here, and then there's the second set of knuckles right here. That's kind of like a mountain peak. You can kind of see the mountain peak. Well, you're going to take the same second set of knuckles of your other strong hand, and it's going to go peak to peak. So the knuckles are going to meet. So when you, bring the, when you bring your other hand in, the knuckles meet, it's peak to peak, and there's a certain feel that goes along with feeling those knuckles coming together with a kind of like a push with your dominant hand and a pull back with your non-dominant hand. And when those knuckles meet, it's pretty solid. And uh, I'd like everybody to just try that with the dummy gun, this idea of knuckles to knuckles, peak to peak. Take your gloves off and just try that. And just, just, just notice knuckles to knuckles or peak to peak. It's the second set of knuckles, okay. two mountain peaks that are meeting, exactly. And you're pressing them into each other. So you're pushing forward with your master grip and pulling inward with your support hand.